Read this. Your pronunciation of your last name, do you like, is it Clickstein or Clickstein? Uh, Clickstein is fine. Clickstein, okay, awesome. Okay, Banana Cubs, I am here with author Matthew Clickstein. Clickstein? I was going to tell you. It's a good thing this isn't live and I can edit everything. Hey there, Banana Cubs, Tiger Monkey here, and you are watching Read This. This is my geek and sundry vlog where I recommend books based on other stuff you like and read them with a friend. Except for today, I'm doing another interview. Last week was my birthday. Yeah! <laughs> I like to get sentimental about these things, you know, ponder my childhood and the things I liked to do back then. And for me, that was watching Nickelodeon, like, all the time. If there is a special place in your heart for the Nickelodeon television shows of the 1990s, I highly recommend you read Slimed by Matthew Clickstein. Slimed was published earlier this fall and is pretty much the book you've been waiting for when it comes to the whys and hows of Nickelodeon from back in the day. Clickstein interviewed over 250 people from both in front and behind of the camera of every Nickelodeon show that came on during the late 80s to mid 90s, or what many like to refer to as the golden age of Nickelodeon. Slimed is an oral history book, which basically means that Clickstein went around, interviewed a bunch of people, and then put their words verbatim into the book without any of his own voice or narration. So it's kind of like you're watching a documentary. What you get from that is an amazingly in-depth account of everything that went on those days, both positive and negative. And that's why I'll even say it is the definitive book of the network of our childhood. Or mine. I don't know how old you are. You might still be a child. One of my favorite things about the books are the questions it answers, like, uh, what were the main ingredients of slime? Was Pete and Pete inadvertently responsible for the creation of hipsters? And a really great statement on why Nickelodeon shows today are so different from the ones from 20 years ago. Uh, the main theory is that back in the day, shows on Nick were about uh, celebrating childhood and making it cool to be a kid, whereas now it's very much this uh, wish fulfillment thing is going on. The kids on these shows today are also secretly superheroes, or ghosts, or internet personalities. I mean, it's pretty much what Disney's already been doing for years, and it works. But I do miss being able to tell the two apart. So yes! A book that deserves to be written and whose time has definitely come, slimed by Matthew Clickstein. Read this. <whistles> Interview time. Okay, Banana Cubs, I am here with Matthew Clickstein. He is the author of Slimed, and he has been cordial enough to join us on Skype today. So, Matthew, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, and thank you for using such lovely words as cordial to uh, describe me. Tell us a little about yourself. Who are you? I'm a, a struggling writer. I've had a little bit of luck in my life. Uh, I did a, a, a screenplay for uh, Steven Seagal, his only horror film called Against the Dark. That will be an embarrassment to me for the rest of my life. So you interviewed around 250 people um, throughout the course of this book. How did you go about finding all of these people, especially the ones that might have been a little harder to find? They were almost all really, really hard to find. I think it's one of the reasons why a book like this hadn't really been done yet. A lot of people I had to interview a few times. I mean, poor Will McRobb, one of the creators of uh, Adventures of Pete Pete, he did so many different things at the network, as did a lot of people. I think these people, a lot of them were sort of waiting for that phone call. I mean, I really literally got, what took you so long? That's why a lot of them were so open and forthright with me. This book is definitely warts and all. Mm -hmm. um, it's got the good sides, it's got the bad sides, and everything in between. At the end of the book, Toby Huss writes a message um, in character as Artie. He created the character. He knows how to talk like that more than anyone else. So how did you get him to actually write something for the book? I think that when the people I started talking to, like Mark Summers, who also did the foreword, which was really, really good and also mm. made me personally tear up, they saw I knew what I was doing and that I cared about this stuff, and that this was going to be the Nickelodeon book. It was just great that what they had to say was so funny and fascinating, and yeah, puts a tear in your eye. Matthew Klickstein, folks. He's a good guy. You can tell he likes what he's doing. Speaking of like, what are some of your favorite oral history books? And uh, shows from your childhood, too. Does not have to be Nickelodeon related. Just whatever you like. I want to hear from you. February is coming up. It's Black History Month. I'll be doing a book for it. You should watch it. In the meantime, feel free to like, share, and subscribe to this personal channel of mine and check out some of the other videos I have for you. And keep watching those videos from fellow Geek and Sundry vloggers geeking out on the Geek and Sundry Vlogs channel. I will see you guys next time. Later.